Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 10. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we'll retry this. <laughs> Low power open. Uh, we got New York, Road Atlanta, Maple Valley, and Silverstone, so uh, let's get cracking. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, let's get cracking. New York. We're driving the uh, Celica for this one. This one's got uh, 222 kilowatts of power. I've got no clue what that is in horsepower, but for some reason this entire game is done in kilowatts. Which makes no sense. So uh, we are right on the border of what is acceptable in terms of horsepower or kilowattage in this event. Only thing is, the rules are to do with horsepower. But it's, it's nothing about upgrading your car so that you've got more grip. So basically, we've got overperforming over tires, overperforming brakes... And overperforming everything else, pretty much. Still listening to Calyx. Beautiful music. Good tunes. Whoa! Oh, never mind. We haven't got overperforming brakes. That's shit. <laughs> Might have to get better brakes on this thing. <laughs> Eleven second lead. We're gonna be lapping people before even. Man, that's going to be crazy. Oh, no, no. Balls. Oh. I know instantly, if I start breaking and I'm on that red line, I'm, I'm done. I hate that corner. Oh my god. This car is horrible on this track. <laughs> this is really poor on so many levels. Yo, Bunny Trap, welcome. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Hey, good to hear. Good to hear that you're doing good. You don't mind me asking, uh, how did you uh, find my uh, Twitch channel today? Media share free. It is not, unfortunately. It's not for the sole reason that people come in and uh, play random, like, stuff that ends up getting you banned. So, just to avoid that, it's, it's not free. <laughs> We do have uh, media shares fairly cheap anyways. But yeah, a lot of media share streamers won't have free media share just because people 
do take the piss a lot of the time. It's not to say everyone does, but too many people have taken the piss over the past few years that a very few amount of streamers actually have free media share. There we go. Road Atlanta. Let's get cracking. Let's get going and get another win. Yeah, even even then though, can take quite a quite a lot of effort to sort it all out while I'm recording. So I'll have a look at it after this race. There we go. Not bad. See, I don't understand why they did, like, a full lap brace around Laguna Seca. But they only do three laps for this one in, quite frankly, much faster cars. It's a little bit weird how they've structured events in this game. Very weird. Waiting for the day that never comes. Yeah, that's kind of what I try to avoid. I mean, in theory, shouldn't even be sent. Shouldn't even be like a question of should I send a goal video on a media share? Because that is against Twitch TOS. It's against YouTube TOS for it to even exist on YouTube. You'll never take me alive. There we go. There we go, nice. Uh, the link should be the same anyway, so it, it won't keep it. Because it's all safe server side, so when I look at the link, it will look server side, anyways.
And there we go. 455, not bad. 14 grand. Woohoo! Welcome to the internet. Come and take a seat. Would you like to see some pictures of some famous women's feet? <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, follow sound on Twitch just because I couldn't think of anything. I used to have the Windows XP shutdown sound. Then it kind of just got boring because I had it for like three years. It was just do 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 do. Is it the VR chat one? I've heard it like 70 million times if it is. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Mm -hmm. Psh. 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 This is a short track for three laps. I thought they would have done like four laps for this. Crap. I've messed that one up big time. Right. Come on, let's go. Ugh. Close to the inside there. Way too close to the wall there. Oh my god, the brakes on this car are horrendous. I don't know whether they're just not built for like a car going this fast. But they are shockingly bad on so many levels. Oh, I love gaming at 25 frames a second. Woohoo! Yeah, I think this game is old enough now to actually be classed as retro. And I think Xbox... Hang on. So when PS4 was out, we called PS2 retro. So technically speaking, now that PS5 is out, PS3 and Xbox 360 are now classed as retro consoles. That's crazy. Wow. So this is a retro game, but this was retro anyways. But now Forza Motorsport 2, 3, and 4. Technically Forza Horizon as well. Are all retro games. That's crazy. Oh, why I'm smiling at that, because that just makes me feel old. <laughs> Makes me feel extremely old, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, a little bit too much curb there. I love how my power supply is just on. Just on. Everything in it is just on. 
including fan. It's just loud. And on. <laughs> okay, it's a good thing we didn't have any more laps because uh, I, I realize this circuit is a little bit longer than I thought. There you go. Cross the finish line. Five minutes and eight seconds. Not bad. 14 and a half grand. Getting close to 21 as well. Okay, Silverstone. The Stone of Silver, even though the logo has no silver in it and it's all red and blue. Because British logic, innit? We'll have red and blue on everything and then call it silver. There you go. Not bad. This is a full circuit as well. I think the Hamilton Straight is on this one. Oh, we've gone wide. Pretty shit again. I just noticed that's the Vodafone logo. <laughs> Vodafone for the extremely posh. Some of the prices that Vodafone charge are ridiculous. 33 pound a month for unlimited data. Like, that's just crazy. And I'm the one with the Vodafone contract, and I think that's ridiculous. The only reason I'm with Vodafone is because I've got family members who get a discount, so result. And then I also use the uh, contract out and about, like everyone does. And Vodafone has the best coverage at the moment in the UK. Vodafone and... No, Vodafone is the best. But you know you're definitely paying for the best when it comes to Vodafone because they charge for it. Don't you love it when someone in your house comes home with a box full of 710 mil bottles of beer? That's more than a pint of bottle. That's not bad. How many bottles then in a box? Is it four or six? I don't imagine it's ten. That'd be like carrying a fucking ton. It is beautiful. Someone coming home and bringing you alcohol is the best feeling in the world. Oh no. Oh no. There's 20 in a box of 710 mil bottles. That's like 14 litres of it. That's a crazy amount of beer. Like, just to carry 14 litres, you'd have to, like... There's no way in hell you're carrying that. I wouldn't be carrying that, that's for sure. That's, like... Seven bottles of Pepsi. Like, big bottles of Pepsi. <laughs> no fucking chance I'm doing it. Yeah, but you're a labourer, though, Lewis. You do, like, lifting shit all the time. I am fat and unfit. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fit at all. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. Go, 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 go. Not bad. Not bad. 
we are understeered into that curve. It was lucky we actually um, managed to get around that corner then. I think I'm only going to get three videos actually made out of these. This recording session today. Oh well. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, I've missed the corner. There we go. Not bad. Final corner. Joe, you know, the cool thing is, once I finished Forza Motorsport 4, I can officially retire this Xbox. I can say the Xbox has done its duty. I can buy a new one. Because I probably will buy a new one just to be on the safe side. 618. Not bad. And we're now level 21, so we've got a discount on modified and club sport clutches. And I think we get a car as well. Yeah. Mazda RX-7 Spirit R. Not bad. All right, we're here for the Super Street face-off. Um, and we are going to take part. We have a choice of the RX-7 Spirit R or the RX-7 Turbo, which... Uh, they're basically the same car, just one comes with a wing stock. I'm going to take this one. Uh, we got four events. We got Sakuba, uh, Rio de Janeiro, New York, and then Tokyo Circuit. Let's get started. All right, we're here at uh, Sakuba Circuit now. We got the RX-7. This is a Gen 3, and that one there is the uh, Gen 2. If you didn't know. And if you didn't know, well, now you do. Oh, this thing's got some speed through the corners. Lovely. Holy crap. Not bad. It's understeering. There we go. Oh, we're halfway there. Whoa. Understeer there. It doesn't really rhyme, does it? Can't use the same word twice to rhyme. It's how most of these mumble rappers do it nowadays, anyways. They'll rhyme there with there and door with door again. Because it's not very good. Don't want to go into the pit lane by accident. That would be embarrassing.
I don't think any of these races actually need a pit stop, except for, um, oh shit, wrong button. It's this button I want to check. Yeah. So none of these actually need, pit stop isn't ever in the question until we hit endurance series. I think there's 10 endurance races as well. Which uh, is not too bad. I think each one's about an hour long. Wow. Anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I think the first ones are fairly short, but then the last one is an hour long. Eight laps around the Nord Cipher. Three pit stops as well. You really want me to do that while I'm recording, Lewis? Well, that's fine. Can I get a hi? Pain in the backside. You refunded it as well, you bastard. I disclose, I disclose, I disclose, I disclose. <laughs> you realize that no matter whether you accept it or deny it, I won't know. So I just instantly assume that you just refund it. That's why I always assume that you've refunded it. Because it doesn't say it's been done. It just disappears from my list and says it's been done. It doesn't even say it's been done. It just disappears. Whether you accept it or reject it, it's just gone. But rejecting it refunds the points. Accepting it doesn't. But there's no way of me knowing if it's been accepted or rejected. Complication unknown. So every single person got their points back. That's brilliant. Steph, I think Steph has like five month old redemptions on her channel. It's fairly funny. And there we go. 512. I'm going to save that replay just in case I forget because I'm an idiot and I keep doing it. 12 grand. Not bad. All right, let's get cracking. 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 Cracking job, mate. <laughs> right. <laughs> what song is this? Have It All by Culture Shock featuring Rafella. Not bad. Yo, Nissan Skyliner, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. If you don't mind me asking, how did you uh, find my channel today? This is uh, this is very different. I'm playing uh, Forza Motorsport 1 today. Trying to uh, play through every single Forza game over the period of the next few years. But my goal is to finish every single one. <laughs> Lewis, I don't have an OnlyFans. Not yet, anyways. <laughs> Keyword there being yet. FM and looked and found you. Hey, awesome. Oh. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, we're playing... Uh, Going to be playing through, I think, like, two or three times a week. 
will be streaming just Forza Motorsport from now on. So, thank you for the follow. <laughs> we'll have a, a lot of Forza Motorsport content from now on. Because uh, as soon as we finish Forza Motorsport 1, we're moving straight on to Motorsport 2. So, cool to go. Only fans cost a fiver if you're wondering. It doesn't even exist. And if there is an account that's got content of mine, I want a cut out of it. <laughs> yeah, this is the um, RX7 Turbo 3rd Gen. Gen 3. Uh, there you go. Squeezing through. There you go. Completely cocked that corner up. Whoa! Slammed into the back of me, man. What? Just gets embarrassed that Sales took toe picks to live with his net. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'll be looking. <laughs> what are you? What have you started, Lewis? <laughs> oh, unbelievable. I think as well, I'm the only person that's actually, like, streamed Forza Motorsport, like the original one, for God knows how long. And at this rate, I'll be the only one doing Forza Motorsport 2 and 3. Maybe not so much 4. I think 4 was kind of still quite popular among Forza players. Obviously not streamed much on Twitch, but... Still get people streaming it for the nostalgia. Got to have it all. Got to have it all. I think I might actually, um, between each of the Forza games. So once I finish a Forza game, I might do like a 12 hour event between each one. Where I just play every single Forza game as like a recap as we progress. I don't know, it could be cool. Uh, we got that done. Twelve and a half grand. Not bad. In New York. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. <laughs> Got to enjoy that on YouTube as well. <laughs> Lovely. This song slaps. This looks worse, worse on OG Xbox. In all honesty, I don't know because I don't have an OG Xbox. I assume the OG Xbox probably just doesn't have as good colors. I don't think it had a HDMI port either, so it probably would have been running off of like VGA or uh, AV cables or stuff like that. Composite cables. I honestly have no clue. But anything is looks worse than um the three things yeah i think that's av then i'm pretty sure but uh yeah av never looked good even on an original i um when i had my first xbox 360 back when i was seven or eight we actually had a tv that we ran it in from the xbox 360 with av and uh, it looked alright because it was a small TV. But then when we upgraded to a new one, it looked horrendous. Because AV looks pretty crap. I think AV's like 480p or something. Um, but yeah, we then got a HDMI cable and it looked good again. But uh, I sort of assume that it probably does look a bit better because this is running at 720p at the moment. But... Oh, I messed my breaking zone. Crap. Because uh, this game is running at 720p. I think all of the Forza games run at 720p on Xbox, except for... 
I want to say Motorsport 4 might have been 1080p. But I'm not going to guarantee it. I know once it got to uh, Motorsport 5 and like Xbox One titles, they were all 1080p. Wow. Probably was 480p on the original Xbox. But again, I, I have no clue. It might have been 720 I'm running it on Xbox hardware and it's uh, the output for the video at the moment is a uh, 720p 50, which is um, 50 frames a second. Because this game runs at 25, so it's like half and half. Half of the frame is updating, half of it's not. Hey, that'd be awesome. The only reason... so See, I like collecting, like, racing games and stuff like that. But uh, the only reason I don't have an original Xbox is because I have an Xbox 360. And I just don't see the point in collecting a piece of hardware that's that old. And when it doesn't offer anything extra... Especially when the 360, I think, played like 99% of Xbox games anyways. But technically speaking, if I buy any disc game, I can play it. Unless it's a PS4 or a PS5 disc. In which case, I can't play it. Because I bought a digital PlayStation. <laughs> oh, you're on holiday at the moment. Fair enough. Where are you on holiday at the moment, then? What country are you in? Tell me it's somewhere exotic. Somewhere nice. <laughs> um, yeah. So I got um, PS2. Which has a PS1 in it, basically. PS3. PS5, which can play PS4 games, Xbox One, and 360. So yeah, pretty much got the works. My grandma's in Wales. Ah, fair enough. Wales is not bad. I used to have family that um, lived in Wales that moved from where we live. So uh, I'm from uh, England. So. Oh, there we go. Right. Uh, we got 11 grand. Okay. It's actually pretty cool, though. I did not know... I mean... I don't know what I expected, to be honest. Because, I mean, the Xbox... I don't know. I was sort of assuming the Xbox 360 did a thing like... What, um... PlayStation did. Where they just took leftover... Wow, I don't even think it was leftover chips. I think they just kept producing them. But they basically just took a PS1 chip and stuck them in all the PS2s. And even when PS3... Honestly, the first PS3... They should have carried on how the PS3 was. But just kept putting in a PS2 and a PS1 chip. Because if they kept that going, sure, now we would have a PS5 that would cost, like, a grand. But I would love to pay a grand for a PS5 if I could play every single disc version of all of my games from PlayStation. Oh, shit. I crashed. Not ideal. Oh, yeah, you're on the welcome to Nissa. That's why we're streaming. So we can interact with chat. Feel free to. I'm more than interested. <laughs> um, yeah, I want my position back, though. 
Me, a fellow RX-7 Gen 3, cannot be beaten by an RX-7 G Gen 2. That's just not correct. Oh, shit, that was close. It's a little bit tail-happy, this car, as well. Oh, ah, sketchy. I don't like it. Oh, that really helped slow it down. Uh, Xbox One S, OG Xbox, PS3, PS4, and that's it. Ah, fair enough. Not bad. That's a good selection. That is a good selection, actually. What um Xbox Three? Uh, not Xbox. What PS3 have you got? Have you got one of the uh, earlier models? Because if you got one of the earlier models, then you could, technically speaking, say it's a PS1 or a PS2. Ah, Super Slim. Yeah, I got the Super Slim as well. Super Slim's pretty... Meh. I feel like they extremely cheaped out to try and squeeze as much out of the PS3 as possible. Because the PS3 did flop. After the, it, it, PS3 was doing really well. And then they Sony just ruined it. But then PS4 came around and they just... The graphics have gone on the PS3. Ooh, that's not ideal. I can't actually install anything to my PS3 for some reason. Because the flash storage on it is buggered. So... I really, um, what's it called? I really need to have a look around and see if there are any third-party controllers or, like, attachments. Hey, no worries, Nissan. Thank you for stopping by. If you, uh, feel free to stop by again in the future, because we'll be playing a lot more Falls on Motorsport. And uh, if you want to, exclamation mark YT will give you the, uh, my YouTube link. Uh, you can watch these streams back on YouTube if you want. Uh, but yeah. What's it called? I really need to look, see if there's like an attachment that I can convert a PlayStation controller into an Xbox controller. Hey, no worries. We'll still be going for ages. Oh. Oh, why did I go in reverse? For fuck's sake. I've done that like twice this race. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, so... I've, I've, I'll do some research. I need to buy an adapter for it. Xbox 360 to PS5 control. Because I'm going to be honest, the PS5 controller is a lot better to use. A lot more comfortable. So if I can use it, I'm going to use it. Right, 531, not bad. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.